Greetings all. Brightest solstice blessings, Scorpio. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. As my special gift to you, we're doing a very special style of reading. We have two oracle decks and a bowl of charms and dice. So combining my two little extra things with an extra oracle deck for you. So we're just touching base with your spirit team as we're winding down the end of the year here, Scorpio. So your first card is the Eagle Spirit of Freedom and the Reflecting Pool of Stillness. Yet another graceful bird because in the pond there she is reflecting a swan. And you also have a Pegasus down here in the bottom of the Eagle Spirit card. So there are many ways for you to seek your freedom. There are many ways for you to achieve this bliss. And I believe that's why the Reflecting Pool is here. For in that stillness, when you are just quiet, you're letting your mind process things, reflecting back on the year, you can see what is and is not holding you back. Or if that's something that you're working on in, in processing your shadow, which is why I brought out this deck. The solstice is the darkest time of the year. It is the longest period of night that we have during the entirety of the year before the sun starts to come out for longer periods as well. And that's why I wanted to touch base with your shadow here because there's a lot of reflection that goes on during this time of year. Oh, wow. Oh my honey, what happened? You have, I fear you will reject me and leaving you hurt me too. Okay. I get why the sense of freedom and stillness is here because I almost feel like this is a relationship where you both cared about each other like truly cared about each other but one party was being toxic or it was just not working out the way it needed to and that happens sometimes so don't don't blame yourself for that my love because you're only human. You, you shift and grow and change every single day. Similar to whoever this other person was. This could be friendship, work colleagues that you were really close to before. Or the relationship, obviously, this could be a relationship. I don't want to make this a relationship reading, but that is kind of in general what I feel. So if this year, <laughs> this kind of just spun around on my desk and... I feel like that may have been how you were feeling this year with everything going on. Just that you were spinning out of control. Leaving you hurt me too. You had to do that for the best of both of you. Because even if this is someone that is very important to you, you may not be at a place in your current life where you can give them all of you. And I understand this. My last relationship I was in, despite the man I was dating being a genuinely amazing human being, the greatest person I had ever dated because of how respectful he was, I was not in a place where I could accept the love that I was being given and that was hurting him. And that that's the other side of this. I fear that you will reject me. Maybe that's how the other person was feeling. This is the both sides of the relationship. I fear that you will reject me and hurting it hurt me to leave you too. But one of you was not in a place where you could accept the love that you were being offered because you felt like you didn't deserve it or it was so foreign or there wasn't a sense of trust that had been built up during that time. It's very sad what I feel, but there will be brighter times. There will be times of celebration, times of sweetness. You, you have to grow. You have to go, go through travels and find out what you do and don't need in your life anymore. And be, be prepared to cut away anything that doesn't serve you anymore. And though it may seem impossible, you will be able to love again, Scorpio. You will be able to trust again. And if this person was truly meant to be in your life, then they will come back when both of you are ready. If not... You will find someone where you don't have to struggle with that. You don't have to struggle or fight with that. You will have acceptance, Scorpio. Starry night. 
You will have acceptance, you beautiful, beautiful gift to the earth. Don't, don't worry about that. You have leadership, stag spirit. You may be stepping into that place, stepping into that power. Maybe you were so focused on your career and things that you were building, you weren't able to give time to the relationship. And because you care about them, you could not do that to them. Maybe that's what's happening here. And I understand that myself. I've come to that conclusion recently that I have no place for a relationship right now because I'm so focused on doing this for you guys and starting my business and so many other things in the background. You have the frog spirit of renewal. I love this because frogs go through so much transformation during the entirety of their life. As when they come out of the egg, they look nothing like they do when they are grown up. And you might feel that way on the outs on the other side of your journey here, Scorpio, that you look nothing like you did on the beginning. And that's not something to be afraid of. That's a wonderful show of how much you've grown and developed and changed as an individual where so many people stay stagnant in their own energy because they're so afraid of changing because they don't know who they are. You're allowing yourself to shift and change. And yes, Though it seems like happiness, companionship, love may seem impossible sometimes, it will be yours. You just have to go on a different journey than who you had to leave right now. And you didn't mean to hurt them. You didn't want to do that. But because you cared about them, you had to. And that's very noble of you, Scorpio, to be that selfish, that selfless that selfless apologies to be that selfless you will have acceptance my love do not fear that go on your journey take as long as you need to find out what it truly means to be you and on the other side of it you will be more more whole and very proud of yourself as your spirit team is have a beautiful day Scorpio